when we left the area last night, several premises in the area were in flames. Premises uh, belonging to uh, Catholic businessmen, private houses, and the number of the local uh, men in the area decided to move the women and children and elderly people out. And when they were being put into the vans and private cars, which was to take them into another district for safety, they were being sniped on from the top of a local mill. And at one stage, when loading the people into the van, the women and children were forced to lie flat in the middle of the street. And some of them had to crawl up the street on their stomachs to get into the vans. The police made no attempt whatsoever to remove the sniper. And at one stage, the sniper was actually pointed out to them. And the reply was, well, we can't do very much about it. Well, your wife was expecting a baby. She was. She was indeed. Um, the baby was due uh, last Friday. And she was due to go into hospital uh, this morning, actually. Uh, if it hadn't uh, arrived by today, she was due to be taken into the hospital anyway. Now, when were these regular police? Or these were re regular police. Regular police. And when my wife uh, was one of the last to leave, and at the corner of one of the streets, she picked up this shell here, yeah. a nine millimeter shell, yes. which was one used in the sniping. And they, they, they were very, very fortunate to get out. And even when they were put up into a, a refuge center in Belfast, um, the, 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 they were sniped, the, the building itself was sniped on right through the night. We have uh, an old folks club which was purchased three years ago and reconstructed uh, and opened by the Minister for Health in January of 1969 as a recreational uh, premises for old folk in the town area. And how many people can you hold in the premises? Uh, as a recreational premises we can cater for up to 140 people at a sit-down meal such as the annual old folks Christmas yes. dinner. But how many refugees can you keep here? It, it wasn't a, a, a residential premises, but on this occasion we used it on Saturday night to house two families, one family of a mother and nine children, and um, a husband and wife and four children, whom at a, a late hour we were not able to obtain accommodation for in the town area. We had already obtained accommodation at, I might say, a moment's notice for seven other families and an elderly couple. Are you getting much local support? The support from the local population of Mullingar is absolutely overwhelming. The payslets come in and the, the, we went out, the young lads told us that the payslets were coming in and we went out to sort of defend our homes and the police stood at the top of the, top of the street and they told us to get in and when we told them that we were going to fight they threw bottles down the street at us and we had to get into the houses and they let the payslets come round the houses and they burned all the houses, they burned the houses and wrecked the houses and threw petrol bombs and they stood and watched the houses burning down and where there was once homes there's nothing only spare grass there's nothing only spare grass Were the police here at this time? Yes, the police were in and they let them come in on It was a special uh, the I don't know what they were, we couldn't they were say what they were They were uniformed and civilians and everything Yes. And they just come in on us and they let them come in and, and they wrecked and they, they destroyed people's homes and they broke them up. Your husband is still in Belfast? My husband's still in Belfast, yes. yes. Was he engaged in this uh, struggle with the police? No, with, with he wasn't. He was, he was in, in his brother-in-law's house and when he seen the police throwing bottles, he ran to, to help.